Jerry. Now you're limping. Yes, I am. What's wrong? You're, you're not going to better that game when you hit me. Well, I never hit anyone. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good, thank you're you. Okay. Yeah. This is your new home. Yeah. Taking a little while to settle in. Does it feel like home yet? Well, you know, uh, it takes time. Yeah. It takes time, yeah. but. Uh, the, well, the problem is when, when you say it doesn't feel like Upton Park, yeah. that it's all like kind of a it negative. Why? Well, you don't <laughs> like it. Why? Well, no, yeah. I, like, yeah. like a new home. Yeah. You buy a, new, you buy a new, new, new house or flat or whatever, and you walk in, and after a month you say it doesn't still feel like home, but you love it. Yeah. But you love it, but it takes time, of course. Yeah, of course. Well, same here. Yeah. It's like so many things are, are brilliant about yeah. it. I mean, it's wonderful, isn't it? But uh, it is massively different it to Upton Park, to Upton isn't it? Park it because does. it's I mean it's it's huge it's much bigger but it's it's kind of further it away looks from bigger. the pitch. Many clubs have the same problems when they move grounds. Mm. There's more space around and you 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 can be at the same spot at let's say White Hart Lane yeah. the pitch you played mm -hmm. so many yeah. times for Spurs and you can be at the same spot when you lift your head you have a feeling that no matter do you if you want to join the attack to be in the box, yeah. or if you want to help your mates at the defense, you can be there in no time. Yeah. It's perspective. And then you can be at the same spot at these new stadiums, yeah. new grounds, but you think, oh, it's, there's no way I can get there. Mm. And it takes yeah. time to get over that. Yeah, and it's, I mean, because of like, large areas behind it the is. pitch. Yeah. Exactly. Is there anything you can do about that, perhaps to change it? or? Uh, no, no, but you will need wins, you need uh, the more sessions you are doing there, but, and, then, and then it's going to come, definitely. Yeah. Bit of time, time. bit of time. Time, you need time, yeah. yeah. It's all nice and warm. There's so many grounds used to, Upton Park used to go in like the little dressing rooms and it's cold, horrible. The facilities are great. So different from when I played. Yeah. It used to be like little boxes, weren't they? It's tiny, everyone's huddled up, it's cold, exactly concrete like, floors, yeah. mm. no heating. It's lovely now. See, they've got it easy. They've no <laughs> idea. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> I agree, I agree. <laughs> Difficult question. Do you think the owners, are obviously, and the people that have taken you here to the ground, are they, are they understanding of the fact that it's going to take time? for you and the players to adjust? And have they been supportive? Yeah, but the, no, to be fair, uh, I say really what I mean, you know, there yeah. are obstacles. In every yeah. improvement, there are obstacles. Yeah. You know, when you go to something new, even uh, as well, the owners were, were like, they knew the possibility that it's going to take time. Yeah. It, you you yeah. can't just step on a new stadium and mm. do it, click it. No. Uh, but, but you have no choice if, if you want to move. Mm forward with the club, yeah. you have to go to do something yeah. like that. And our choice or the owner's choice or whatever the board's choice was to yeah. go forward, very brave, very positive. It was a good choice. And, and, and you, you have to make your step like this yeah. one. Yeah. You have to make yeah. it. Shall we sit down and have a chat? Please. I think it's fair to say, um, Slavin, that you're not the archetypal kind of football guy. Degree in law, yeah, okay. member of a rock band. What I made mean, you go into football? Because, I, no, I'm a completely football guy. <laughs> I mean, I had a lot of time uh, during my football career and after as a manager, I've been asked that kind of a question yeah. because of my, I was always good in school and my law degree and uh, like I play guitar, okay, I used to have a band. But uh, so the people are expecting from you to be different or whatever, yeah. but I'm totally, I'm totally mm. the same with all the football mm. people, fans or players, you know, f football is my priority, apart from the family, of mm. course, so I'm, I'm, I'm just football crazy. But yeah. because, of course, when I was young, I, I came from that kind of environment, my family was always let's say, rich in education. Not mm. in money, but very rich in education. for a footballer, though. There's not many go into prolonged education. Yes, but uh, as I told you, my mother, she, uh, she used to work as a teacher in a primary school. My father, who died, he was a doctor of economic science, so, so he was professor in the University of Economy mm. and Law in Split, my hometown. So 
in our family, the education was also important. Mm -hmm. Although my father was also football crazy, yeah. mad. So, so he enjoyed watching your exactly, development. Exactly. Yeah. So it was actually my mother who, who not forced me, but asked for me, OK, try to do both. Try to do, which for me was not that hard because I had that like uh, cornerstones mm -hmm. of, of habits to, to be good in school. What kind of footballer would you describe yourself as? I was, uh, first of all, I was defender, mm. although my dream was also to be a right wing or a centre forward. Yeah, well, you were one yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> I was not treated as a very skillful player. I was treated as a player that was like giving his best, yeah. great in the air, let's mm, say, yeah. and all that, uh, good anticipation, good tackling, brave and all that. But when, when I went abroad, when I went to Germany, especially here when I went to England, OK, I played my mm. best football here. Mm. Uh, here they treat me at that time as... That he missed the final because... Yes, of yes, I still feel bad if you yeah. ask me now. I don't think about it on a daily basis, of course, yeah. now. Yeah. But if you ask me, yes, I still feel bad yeah. and I will always feel bad. But I don't feel, I don't blame myself, I don't feel guilty for yeah. that. That's happened in a... It was an impulsive thing to do, or was Yes. It? I really liked him as a player. My intention was never to, to, to send him off. And I basically panicked yeah. in that moment. Yeah. Uh, Would you do it differently if you had your time again? If I had time, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it doesn't work like yeah, that. Yeah, but it doesn't work like that. But the fact is, what I'm trying to say, I didn't like it, I still don't like it, mm. but... He should it. be blaming himself, no. basically, yeah. because uh, he'd done it. Part of history. It's gone. Get up! You're here at West Ham now. What would you ideally describe the way you want your teams to play? Basically, the, to play modern kind of football in the terms of you got to be complete. I don't want my team to be great in attack, but no good in mm. the defence and all that. I want my team to be, first of all, solid and all that, mm. and with the numbers behind the ball, to have that energy, intensity, passion and all that. Oh, brilliant. Oh, stupendous. It was all about the genius of Dimitri Payet. I want to put as many talent mm. on a pitch, but to, mm. to, bring out, and w to bring out responsibility out of them. Mm. So I want the, the talented players to be organised and hungry and to be good in the defence. What's your target now this season? Where do you, for West Ham this season, now, given the start? We are now in a position that, we've, that we are not happy with, of course. We are in a position that we have to be a little bit like this, to bite our nails yeah. and all that. You think you'll be all right? Yeah. Confident? I'm yeah. confident that we're going to be yeah. minimum mm. top 10. Mm. Top 10. Yeah. Uh, we are not happy with the position that we are at the moment, and we have to change it. It's my responsibility, and I have to change I have to find a way. Do you think you'll be given that time? Do you sense that? I, you know, I'm... When I think about my job, I think about, I don't want to think about the things uh, that you can't influence, you know mm. what I mean? What I can do, I can think, I, I want to think about my team, I want to think about my staff, I want to think about opponents it's playing, I don't want to think about that. And I'm, I'm really, I'm not saying that I'm not thinking about it. Of course I am, but I'm not like, yeah. not in a negative way that you are, oh my God, what's going to happen if, if it's that mm. or if it's that. What's going to happen is going to happen. I'm very optimistic and I like to be positive in that way. The pressure comes with the territory. The pressure also, I'm the one that's putting the big pressure on me. But it's a kind of a job and it is the way, it, and I like this kind of adrenaline mm. because the pressure can also bring the best out mm. of you. Uh, uh, I feel the support. I feel the support of the fans. I mm. feel the support of the... A team, I feel the support of the board, and uh, my next few games are my test. Do you love your work? I love it. Yeah, yeah, I love it. It has, has its ups and downs, mm -hmm. definitely, 
And to be fair, if you are winning, there's no job like this. Slavin, wish you well for the rest of the season. Kelly, thanks. I'm sure you'll turn it around, get things thanks. going. Hopefully get I used will. to your home ground. <laughs> everything will be yeah. everything yeah. will be fine. I hope so, yeah. yeah. And I not hope so, I expect so. Yeah. Yeah. Wish you well. Thank you. Thanks, Slavin. Thanks, thanks for your time. Thanks a lot, I enjoyed it. It's fascinating. Yeah. Jerry. Slavin, you're limping. Yes, I am. What's wrong? You're, you're you not remember gonna... that game when you hit me? What? I never <laughs> hit anyone. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. You okay? Yeah. Your new home? Yeah. Taking a little while to settle in. Does it fit? Same here. Yeah. It's like so many things are, are brilliant about yeah. it. I mean, it's wonderful, isn't it? But uh, it is massively different it to Upton Park. To Upton Park. It? Because it's, I mean, it's it's huge. It's much bigger, but it's it's kind of further it's away from bigger. the pitch. Many clubs have the same problems when they move grounds. Mm. There's more space around, and you 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 can be at the same spot at, let's say, White Hart Lane. Yep. The pitch you played mm -hmm. so many um, times. See, why just... well, you don't like it? Why no? Yeah. I li like yeah. like a new home. Yeah. You buy a new house. You buy a new 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 house or flat or whatever, and you walk in, and after a month you say it doesn't still feel like home, but you love it. Yeah. But you love it, but it takes time, of yeah. course. Yeah. Still at home yet? Well, you know, uh, it takes time. Yeah. It takes time, yeah. but uh, the, well, the problem is when when you say it doesn't feel. Like Upton Park, yeah. that it's all like kind of a it negative. 